Hey, what is up, YouTube, and uh, welcome back to Game Net Reviews. And uh, I'm going to be continuing my uh, USA campaign in Victoria 2 House Divided. Now, anyway, let's just get back to where we last left off. We had just finished our massive, massive war with Mexico. Uh, took all of our cores. Didn't actually take any, I guess, Mexican-only core land. Uh, but that's fine, because I don't really need any. And I have decided... As I said at the end of the last video, that uh, it's time to invade China. It's been long enough. It's been about eight years since we started this campaign. We've given them that much time to civilize, but now we're going to come for them. Uh, and anyway, we're going to need to get our troops over there. Now, there's two ways to really do that. The first would be to march our men uh, from where they are now, which would be down in Mexico, up into California, build a bunch of ships there, and then just sail them over. Or, we could do the slightly cheaper and slightly more dangerous route of uh, sailing our troops from uh, over here in the USA all the way down uh, around the, uh, you know, South America, over around, you know, near Antarctica, and all the way back, and uh, porting them up here somewhere, and then going to China. Now, there's two ways to think about this. Uh, first of all, is that I may need that fleet later on just for getting to Africa. And also, can we get there without taking attrition? Now, I'm trying to remember, I did not finish spearing... No, I just started spearing Ar uh, Argentina last time. And I don't have Peru. I don't have Mexico. So basically, we have the CSA. Uh, then we could port up down here. But then it's gonna, we'd have to go all the way back up to get to the CSA before our ship started uh, not taking attrition anymore. That'd be a long time. Um, at the same time, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven ports right here. I think it's worth it to sail them around. I honestly do. Now, we're going to march our men up into California anyway, but I think we're going to sail our ships around. I think that's going to be faster. That's going to be cheaper. Uh, it's not going to be as good in the long term, but they're not going to be too hard to build later on, and I want to wait till we can get uh, up to steam, ship crew, whatever they're called, the, the better transports they use the rest of the game. Anyway, so I don't really care if these fall apart. I honestly just want to get into China, because uh, that just seems to be the way to go now. I mean, besides for defense, I'm pretty much done with actual fighting in the USA. In fact, I don't really want to take any more land from Mexico, and I want to spear them as soon as possible. Just so I won't have to deal with them declaring war, and I'll just have them under my control, kind of on a leash. They're a great power right now, so I couldn't do it. But they are, yeah, they're number 65. They're going to fall off very soon. They have no prestige. Their military just all got wiped out. And the vast majority of their industry was either destroyed in the war, or just was never built. Because they didn't have much to begin with. Um, so yeah, uh, we're pretty probably pretty easily going to be able to spear them later on. They'll probably never actually ally with us because we have such the sheer amount of their cores we have, but um, they're not going to declare war on us. We're always going to have them under our control unless we fight Britain. And I'm going to go out of my way to make sure that I don't fight Britain um, unless I'm ready for it because I just don't feel like doing that. Um, so there's no real need to keep all too many troops in the U.S. I mean, I think we may, we probably will actually later on, but, but for right now I think it's fine to just send them all over to China and just do a full-on conquest. I'll go grab, you know, Shaozu or whatever, and uh, I'll just get so many more people, be able to build a ton more units. Our economy is going to do so much better. It'll just be great. Um, so that's my plan. Um, yeah, that is my plan. Now, anyway... Uh, I guess I'll do that now. Yeah, so I'm going to send these troops... Oh, they're not healed up. Shit. Oh, man, I should have been healing them up. I'm an idiot. I should have left them in Baltimore or something. Damn. Well, whatever. I'll build a naval base in the capital, but, uh... That sucks. Can they still make it? Yeah, I mean, I think I can. That sucks, though. Alright, well, whatever. Um, so we'll just plot out this course here. Uh, yeah, we'll go to the top of Brazil, we'll just sail around the coastline, and then port here, and then we're going to have to go all the way around up to there, and then 
up into Montgomery or whatever. And that'll be about it. I don't think Brazil or the USCA actually has any naval bases, which is going to be incredibly annoying. Unless they have one down in Rio. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Yes, this is going to be a lot of attrition. Okay, well, we'll let that happen. Um, hopefully we have all the troops going where they're supposed to be going. Send this guy over to uh, Montgomery. We're going to be a little bit stuck if rebels spawn, but I, we, I guess we will build up more troops over time. I'm not really expecting rebels right now. I mean, we are going to have the Civil War coming soon. Um, probably in the next 10 years-ish, but either way, it'd be better to get some troops out of China anyway. And I don't really have a problem with this, so this is what I'm going to do. And yeah, probably once I make some progress in China, I'll send some armies back just because the Civil War is going to happen. That's kind of inevitable. Uh, pretty soon we're going to have to ban the Ottoman in Colombia. But that's future problems. Um, anyway, we're at 0.5 infamy. And that'll be pretty much burned off in about two months. Be quite nice. So I guess once that's burned off, I guess we'll just start justifying, because, I mean, it'll take, what, 100 days to get from Montgomery to China. How long will it take to get... Um, where are we now? Right down there. Probably probably about 150, maybe. So I don't really have a problem starting to justify once they're... Yeah, we'll probably just justify now. I'm just worried about the cost's belly running out. Right down to point. You know, I'll just let it run one more month. I don't mind burning no infamy for a little bit. Um, Argentina's going... Is Mexico in Liberia? What the hell? <laughs> I guess they're not going to be a great power anymore, anyway. And we're... we're we'll ban the Ottomans very soon. I guess I'll just do that at the end of the month or something. Um, let these guys keep sailing around. Yeah, it looks like they're not going to face Deathly Tristan for now. We have to go up all this way out of South America before they can get back into a porting area, which is kind of annoying. Um, yeah, so I'll ban the Ottomans right now. So I really don't want to forget about that now and then have them get their opinions up in Colombia later, so let's just ban them. And they'll be not be able to influence them for a year, and they'll lose all the influence they have, so that'll be nice. And then we'll split our influence between Argentina and the other one, and, um... And those guys, Colombia, actually also should probably put some extra influence points into Liberia, because the British may try to take them later on. I don't really know. Uh, if they will or not, definitely be interesting. And yeah, they're actually taking less attrition than I thought they would. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, I think it's around about time to start justifying. So I'm going to do Good China, going to say demand concession, and that will be how it is. Also, I should spear Japan. Zeus actually did spear Japan. I think they usually do the AI. I see normally spears in Japan. Also, I need to spear Hawaii. So I guess that's not going to be a huge deal. I mean, that's kind of stuff that'll matter more after the Civil War. Um, cause that's you know around about where we get nationalism and imperialism and stuff like that. Um, okay, yeah. So like I was saying, spears are already starting to get a little bit hectic. And they're only going to get worse as time goes on. Like, Spears are honestly uh, one of my least favorite aspects of this game. They, they just get to be incredibly annoying. They, they can take you out of the action, too, because you'll be, like, really, you know, paying attention and involved in some war that's going on. And then, oh, man, I have to look at my Spear again, figure out, you know, who's fucking around in Colombia or whatever. Which is really annoying. Um, but, yeah. Oh, did I never demobilize? I'm an idiot. Demobilize. There we go. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> so that was kind of a waste. So look at our economy skyrocketing after that. We're, we're already doing pretty damn well with no, without really very many uh, good colonies. Anyway, what is this? Uh, this is more slavery stuff. I'm not actually used to this one. I don't care. Any slavery. Slavery is, slavery is bad. <laughs> Seriously. Um, yeah, I want to industrialize the north a little bit more. I mean, not really specifically, but just... I don't want to give the south an advantage. I especially don't want to build any forts in the south, because that's, that's just dumb. Um, which the south actually has a decent amount of railroads now, so it's not really... 
a huge concern of mine. It's just something to think about is to keep them from having all that stuff. Um, but like I said, I'm not really concerned with them. Unless we're lost in China, which you damn well may be. But if we have a decent force up in the U.S., I'm not too concerned with them winning the war. Uh, even when they're mobilized, they just generally don't have all that many troops. Um, but that's just that. Let's not industrialize in slave states. Maybe just a little. I don't know. I'm not going to deal with that. See, it would be nice to connect these up. But, and also, you know, they produce cotton down there, which cotton's pretty damn valuable. Whatever, I'll just keep messing around up here. Ooh, very nice. Coal in Illinois. Coal is just a fantastic resource. Um, so yeah, we're just going to keep building railroads. This is probably enough for now. Just build a few more. Um, so I think I've done about enough capitalists in Pennsylvania. I want to get some of these states done. Um, so we've got a whole bunch of them at the end of the last time. Ooh, Kansas can end. Yeah, and free state. Um... But, uh, yeah, Ice Cube's not going to happen, and Turkey is not going to happen. It'll be later in the game, but probably not. Um, let's see, we have Idaho, Colorado, and Oregon. Um, Oregon, Idaho, Colorado. Yeah, I guess we can get some bureaucrats down there. I don't really mind. Um, I said they were almost in Pennsylvania, didn't I? Yeah, okay, so that's fine. That is fine. Uh, so, we will continue on our way over to where we're going, and yeah, alright. How justified are we right now? Uh, we're only 25%, so we're, uh, we're actually, I think we timed that out pretty well. Um, yeah, okay, so, we're good. Just get all the men together, and we'll go prepare for an invasion. And they're moving up, moving up, moving up, moving up. And Colombia, Argentina. I sure it's gonna take a long time. Um, oh, we're about to get Queen Cole. That's pretty nice. Oh, look at all this stuff. It's a whole bunch of new acts. Um, Fugitive Slave Act. We we'll probably do that. Um, brings back to escape slaves. Whatever. Um, that's a lot of information. But I do gain Spain as a core. It's really tempting. Um, they're allied with the British. I don't want to fight the British. I would not mind having Cuba as a core at all. Uh, I guess we probably won't do it. It's probably not worth the 6 infamy anyway. I could take it from them whenever I wanted for 10 or 11. I, mean, I wouldn't have cores there. I don't know. I just don't think it's worth it. And that... Does, that's worth the south, which would be worse now because we've created so many more free states. So we're just going to leave the Oris Manifesto alone. I actually get rid of it now. It just brings it down here. And uh, do the thing that gets rid of some of the consciousness. Not, no, not actually all that much. And what does this do, actually? We'll ban slavery in East. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it says it'll be good for both, but uh, oh no, no, this is good for the northern, better for the northern guys. Yeah, all right, whatever. That's most of my states anyway. And screw the south. Don't really need to deal with them. Let's move some more men up into Montgomery. And yeah, oh, look at that. Are we ready? Very nice. Do not extend slavery, and Oregon is now a state. Very, very, very good. Um, so now we've got just really two more that are kind of due to become states. So Idaho, we will uh, get some Gary Kratz there. And we'll work on that for a while. And we'll let, uh, what was that, Colorado get a few more people. Um, I don't think I actually need those 3,000 men. I don't really feel like waiting for them. I'll just leave these guys up. You know, let's send them back to... I'm going to march all the way back to uh, Washington. And these guys are going to steamroll for... Um, for over there, for China. I wonder, did the British ever give me caribou? They did not. I'm going to do that in due time. There'll probably be a lot more 
sort of easier to deal with when that happens. Yeah, our relations are already going up. Um, okay. Oh, there we go. Extra coal production. That should help our economy a bit. And I guess our factories. Let's just actually take a look at our factories right now. Um, and yeah, that's a damn shame we're not going to be able to get that. We don't, have the, we don't even have the tech thus far, though. Uh, let's keep upgrading the factories in Massachusetts, New York, Pennsylvania, and one in Virginia right now. I wish I could uh, just, you know, not be a democracy and just flip to reactionary and build a ton of factories. Sadly, no. Is this crashing? No, it's not. It's just acting weird. Okay, there we go. Just lagging for a second there. Got too much stuff running in the background. Um, anyway, let's get ourselves some, uh, I was just thinking about this. Do another level of railroad. Um, idealism would actually be really good. Yeah, I think idealism was just too, because that's going to give us more research points, plus 50%. Which that's, yeah, more research points. So basically it'll add 50% on the base amount of research points we're gaining over time. Um, yeah. Which, I don't actually remember how to find out where... Uh, I'm actually not sure. I remember looking at this a lot back in like my Japanese campaign, but... uh don't remember right now. But there's a way to look at like uh, how many points you're generating. And there's a few modifiers that'll like buffer it, I guess. And this will just... And also you have a base amount of research that has to do with your literary, your literary rates. And this basically just adds to the base amount. So I'll just research things faster as I'll do. So we've been researching just ridiculously slow. And this is going to help a lot. Then we get further down that tech line. It's going to help so much. And we'll be able to get lots and lots of techs over time. Uh, are we over? Oh, no. I always get confused by that little glitch there. Yeah. I think that's just because they're swapping between continents. Because they're going from... Uh, uh, I guess it would be Oceania. Yeah, like Oceania to Asia or something like that. Yeah, that's about right. Um... Okay. Wickedness must be stamped out. We're in Rapid City. <laughs> All the people in Rapid City at this point. Um, hmm. I'm sure I had somewhere I could port up. I probably should have thought of that before I left. Uh, the Portuguese, maybe. We're on decent terms at all, but we're not. I mean, the British have a lot of stuff over here. They're not our biggest fans. Maybe. Damn it. Um... Either that or we just occupy something and just port them there. So we got the British in there, then we might uh, be able to... Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, actually find a port and repair. Um, okay, so we actually got barely any infamy again. That's actually really nice. I actually wanted to justify more, but that's going to make the war be a lot harder. But, you know, I'll justify to free Korea anyway. Um, so, yeah, let's do that. What do we just do... What in the world? I can't... It's weird. Where is the uh, Justify Concession button? Oh, uh, maybe it's because I... Maybe it's because I already have a cost ability like that and I haven't declared war. That's probably what it is. Um, I'll just go and declare war. And our is going to go away at the end of the month anyway. There's Japan. Actually allied with China, but I think they're going to back away. They might not, but... uh, let's Wait and see. I mean, none of these powers are really going to be able to dent me much because I don't have any Asian possessions, and they're not going to really make it over to uh, to my land. Yeah, Kansas Nebraska Act repealed the Missouri Compromise of 1820, allowing property sov popular sovereignty to determine whether slavery should or should not be allowed in the, for the former colony of Louisiana and the territories created out of it. Our religionists will resent us for it, but it might be necessary to present the surrendering of the Union. Yeah, screw the South. Anyway, like I said, I was going to go for Shuzu, and I'm going to go for Shuzu. Because uh, that's the second best region in the Chinese Empire, the non vassal Chinese Empire. <laughs> it's complicated. Um, with the best region being Beijing and the stuff around it. Um, Anyway, I keep feeling like we have Mexico speared, but we don't. Uh, but we'll get them speared soon enough. Anyway, let's get the USCA in the war, and Colombia in the war. 
and Brazil in the war, and Liberia in the war. It's good to get all your subsidiaries in the war, subsidiaries in the war. I mean, for one, I just I don't want to ever forget about one of these guys, and just uh, just not use them for the rest of the game. And also, it increases relations and it builds a stronger alliance and uh, makes it harder for other nations to spear them. And little bonuses like that. Um, anyway, let's go invade, and we'll just go attack one of their armies right now. And of course, they're joining us. Blah, 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 blah. So let's see what the actual division of power is right now. Uh, let's see, all combined, we have about 44, and they have about 730. <laughs> this is about to get a little bit crazy. Uh, anyway, Argentina, we can increase relations. Very good, we'll have them spared in no time. And men are getting off the boats. Very good. The Chinese are actually attacking us. It's a shame we're all clippers, but they're all clippers as well, so... Probably win that because our morale's a bit better. Um, okay, we're attacking, we're attacking, we're absolutely crushing. And now the trick I've learned for invading China, because China has just has an insane amount of troops, is if, if you can, just leave one unit behind uh, if it, that's not an engineer on one of these units and they just won't go and attack it. Whereas if we left no units, they just send another guy there and we would... Okay, maybe I'm lying. <laughs> Shit, okay, well... Scratch what I just said. Uh, that usually works, but I guess it's because we're such... We're just invading. They just have a ridiculous amount of troops in this area. They're a little bit cocky. And nations tend to be a little bit cocky. Actually, early on. Yeah, Japan actually did follow them in. So they really haven't, like... Basically, it just takes one war that you win. And, like, uh, Japan and whatnot won't follow them into wars. And they'll be a lot more conservative when dealing with Western powers. But the first time around, they usually are pretty cocky. Which is why it's good to just destroy them the first time around. I wish I had an alliance with Russia. They would just kick ass in here. And I didn't accept at the beginning of the game. I really should give that up just so we can uh, buy Alaska anyway later on. Um, but yeah, we'll take out more Chinese armies. And um, this region is going to like double our population. It's going to give us just an incredible amount of money. We're going to be able to build a lot more troops out of it. It's going to be good once we get it. Uh, which is why... China's just ridiculous, like I was saying. Oh my god, we have 2.4%. That's not enough? What the hell? Oh, it's because we're at war. Right, I gotcha. That would be enough. Um, so we'll just go back to getting more capitalists in, uh, in sweet Georgia. Okay. It actually has no Yankees there. That's weird. That's half Dixie, half Afro-American. That's the one kind of terrible thing about slavery. Is you well, <laughs> I mean... In the in the context of Victoria too, is that these guys don't assimilate and they don't sort of join up in our accepted culture. And you want as many people as you can in your accepted culture. And to have you know such a huge percent, like it's like fifteen percent of our people right now, thirteen uh, percent that just aren't in an accepted culture and could very easily assimilate and would do so pretty quickly, um, but just can't because they're slaves, which is really annoying. Um, yeah. Anyway. Uh, economy is actually perfectly fine. I don't really want to mess with that right now. Let's go back to warring. Which is a bit... Oh, shit, I forgot. The... Oh, yeah, I know, because we're fighting. Uh, we're going to lose some ships. Guys, we're just taking a trip. We already lost some ships. I really need to retreat away, but what the hell am I going to do? Oh, we actually lost. Holy shit. Where are they going to retreat to? Um. Oh, they're going to doom yet. Yeah, they're all going to die on the way. Well... Say goodbye to every last one of those clippers. <laughs> Damn. Okay, well, that's not the biggest deal in the world. It is going to cripple us if the Civil War breaks out right now, but I don't really know. I mean, I guess even if we mobilize, we could probably beat the South. I really don't think the South could do all that much. They're just not that strong, and I haven't allowed them very many new states to join them. Um, yeah. Okay. Go invade there. Take out their army, or start. Um, am I justifying to make them give up? I'm not actually, or am I? It was Russia. Um, I want them to give up Korea. Uh, so we'll justify that. Even though it's no, no, not quite a subsidiary region. Maybe we will get another region. I mean, we could probably do it. We just don't have that many troops. It's kind of tough. Um, 
Uh, I want to, but I just don't feel like we can. Which is really annoying. Um, but I definitely want to make them release a puppet, so we're going to do that. And, yeah. Okay. I wonder if uh, any of my vassals will actually, I mean, not my vassals, my spear guys will send troops over. <laughs> yeah, my Barry is my only puppet, you know, satellite, vassal, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Anyway, back to war. So we'll justify that. That'll actually take a year to justify, which may or may not be longer than this war. I really should have started justifying that earlier, but uh, not a huge deal. And this war may honestly go on for another year. I mean, China's just hard to take on with your first battle. Um, but, you know, it's actually one of, because it's sort of, it's a kind of tactic all its own for doing it. It's not like doing everything else in the game. Um, I guess it is kind of like a, it'll teach you a little bit about World Wars later on and like when the troops can just, I mean, when like the big European countries can just mobilize like crazy and how to deal with that. But even that is more troops than they would get when they mobilize. Like this is just kind of brutal. The good thing is that we just win every battle. And that they're still fairly conservative with their attacking, but still. Still. Um, okay, uh, yeah, so I really hope we win that. Um, right now, the numbers aren't too much in our favor, and we're actually getting cut down a bit. Uh, we're still definitely making or doing a lot better than they are. We just basically need Shaozu to be completely occupied, and then we should be fine. Okay, so we won. They're going to retreat. Um... Okay, so then we'll send, I guess we'll just send 2,000 men, um, or just two, two units, I, I stopped saying 2,000 men, two units down into Chen Yang, and I guess I'll just wait until these guys leave, because I don't want to take them on with the amount of troops we have now. Um, yeah. So, hopefully no one will send anything to North America. I don't think they will, but I think Japan can be a little bit, I uh, kind of like that. Oh, wow, Our, uh, USCA is, like, is actually setting a clipper over there. I have like 3,000 men on there. That's kind of funny. Um, but anyway, we'll just keep sieging. Uh, mortal Crusaders. Still that Great Awakening stuff going on. Takes a long time to get rid of that. Um, anyway, France is pushing on Brazil. They do that. And we're about to pull out again of Colombia. So we'll do that pretty damn soon. But now, and... Yeah, the British are actually messing around in uh, Liberia, so I should probably beat them out of there. And in the USCA, they've actually made some progress. Uh, not Lippy Demond, <laughs> Christ, no. Uh, yeah, Liberia... Let's we'll get that up to 100 just for later on, because I don't want to lose them. And, oh, shit. Fuck me. Fuck me. Um, God damn it, they're aggressive early on. Oh, shit, they're attacking. Oh, my God, they're going to send another 30,000 men over there. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, my God, they're attacking up there. Oh, we're just getting fucking crushed. Holy hell. Oh, my God. We're going to lose this. We're going to fucking lose this. I'm not even kidding. The ships are fucking dead. Oh, my God. Fuck. 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 This is ridiculous. I... That's never happened before. Um, well... We're gonna do with... Make do with what we can, I guess. We just had an incredible amount of soldiers die. And for some reason, we can't rebuild them. That sucks. And, well, um, this is kind of awkward. We're going to finish getting that. Shit. I mean, shit. What the hell do I do right now? Oh, my God. If I even move one of these guys, they're just going to flood in. Um, I have two units there. Let's see here, I have two units as well. They're moving out of there. Okay, so now they're attacking. Um, uh, well, move those men there. Keep these men. Shit. Oh, God. Um, well, I'm going to hope we're going to be able to, like, 
creep in and try to do this because this is getting brutal. Um, yeah, that did not work very out, out very well. Uh, well, we did just get our responsibility we we're trying to justify, so that's nice. We'll try to release Korea, I guess. Um, I guess if nothing else, we'll just have Korea released <laughs> if we really do fail here. Um, because they'll probably do that, I'd imagine. Um, fucking A. Fucking missed those we stamped at. Um, this just sucks. This really just sucks. Uh, Wenzu, Xiaozu. Okay, here we go. Um, if I just had create, they wouldn't even do that. Yeah, they know we're weak as hell. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All the fucking ships are dead. This is just terrible. Okay, so, hmm. Uh, we're gonna try and beat them out here. We will definitely try. I just, if we, we could turn this around if we could build the army back up. For some reason, it won't let me. It just sucks so much. Um, but yeah, we really should rebuild those clippers. So let's only do that. Um, we're gonna be five in Africa. And yeah, we'll build as many clippers as we possibly can. And all of our clippers are dead at the moment, I think, anyway. Um, oh, we still have the. Oh, no, no, I lied. They're still alive. Oh, they're still alive and they're getting healed up. Okay, so we're fine. We're fine. Um, so what we could do is actually mobilize and do that. It could work. It's just going to take a long time. Um, but I think that may be our only option at the moment. Jesus, they've massed. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> 108 uh, thousand men and they're uh, sort of threatening me with an attack there. They didn't actually attack. Um, they pretty much just boxed us, boxed us in right now. I'm going to increase relations with the Argentinians. That actually went surprisingly poorly. But it, yeah, like I said, I think we can turn this around. I don't think we're too screwed. Uh, it's just going to be a bit more annoying. It's just amazing how many troops we lost there. Just the amount of just people that died is what sucks, really. Um... Yeah, we can miss must be stamped out. Where, where are you going? See, these guys are going to go all the way back. Um, so I could mobilize. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing really wrong with that. Okay, well, we're going to mobilize. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to mass those men. They're all going to be pretty much spawning out of the east because this is where all the people live. And we're going to go move them over to Montgomery. 